What's up, cat daddies? Yeah, I was just thinking about something. I was thinking about a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Actually, peanut butter and jam. Jelly be too sweet. You know, when I, but when I was going, I used to eat jelly because they didn't have jam. They had strawberry jam. And I remember, man, one, one day, uh, I remember when I had first got to, uh, when I, I see, I, I was all new to that shit. I didn't know about having money on your books and shit. And, uh, I remember I wanted some peanut butter. And, well, when I was in, when I was in, uh, the Brooklyn house, you know, I was, I didn't want to eat. I went, I, like, four days. I, I went, well, I, I went four days. I ain't eat shit. Nothing. Nothing, nothing. I ain't shit. But then when I did start eating, I, you know, they used to give us all the jelly you want. And they would give you all the bread you want. All the bread you want. See, I used to take loaves of bread. I used to take loaves of bread. Because most of them guys don't like bread. I love fucking bread. I used to take loaves of bread back to my cell. Loaves. So then I could take loaves and they gave you all the jelly. All I had to do was buy peanut butter. So I used to eat peanut butter and jelly every day. Peanut butter and jelly every day. Even when we got chicken. You know, I would sell my chicken for more peanut butter. <laughs> so I used to look. Guy used to give me $5 for a piece of chicken. He used to give me $5 for a little ass chicken plus. A guy named High. An Asian dude. An Asian dude named High. He was a fucking nut. I gotta go over there, man. But anyway, I used to eat peanut butter and jelly every day. I forgot where I was going with this story. Peanut butter. Oh, so so when I so when I finally got up north to uh, Bear Hill, you could get strawberry jelly, strawberry jam. I love strawberry jam, and I didn't know how I didn't know how to order. You know, like when you get when you get shit sent in, you only allow two food packages a month. You only allow two food packages. So if you get clothes and they put a pack of cookies in, in that in that box at your clothes, that counts as a food package. If you get anything and it's got food in it, that counts as a food package. So if you get a fresh new sweatsuit, you can get four new, you know, if it, the weight requirement, if it meets the weight, if it doesn't go for weight, you can get four brand new fresh sweatsuits, a pair of sneakers, two pair of sneakers, and a pack of cookies, that's a food package. So if you get all the, you know, anything with food in it counts as a food package. So I told, I told my family, I was like, oh man, I just want some jelly. <laughs> they sent me some jelly, they sent that shit right back. They dubbed, they dubbed that shit. And it, they told me, Jelly was a, they told me jam was a, con, a condiment and you can't get condiments. So you couldn't get, you couldn't get shit like ketchup, mayonnaise, and shit like that because that counts as a condiment. But they call, they call jam a condiment, but the only reason they call it, consider it a condiment is because that same kind of jam that I had sent up there, that I had sent, they sell it. Anything they sell in jail, you can't get it in the food package. Not in Bear Hill. You can't get it in Bear Hill. So if they sell it at Bear Hill, if they sell it because I guess they don't want the competition. You know, they have commissary and you have commissary other, every other week. And I think your buy limit is $60, I think it is. $60. Yeah. So you go up there with your bag and you got to bring all that shit back. And... You gotta bring all that fucking fish. I used to get mad fish when I started eating. I used to get mad fish, mad soup, because the soup was only 15 cents. Mad soup, mad fish, and uh, green peas, because I love green peas. I love green peas. I, keep, I eat green peas at home. Now, I take them shits and smash them up. I smash them shits up and mix it with a can of soup or something. That should be like my, my pea soup. I love that shit. Green peas. But anyway, that's how I used to do it. And they sent my shit back. Well, I was so mad. Well, I was mad. I had my mouth set on eating some fucking peanut butter and strawberry jelly. Strawberry jam. They dubbed it. But that's just another thing. That's the whole thing about being in jail, man. That's the whole thing about being in jail. 
for your first time, for my first time. I learned real quick, real quick that nothing is promised. Nothing is promised. And shit can change at any given time. So don't get your heart set on nothing. You got a visit, and you get dressed up to go see your visit, and then for some reason, a fight or some shit break out, and you can't get your visit. You say you're gonna get your mail, shit don't look right, you ain't gonna get this shit. Nothing is promised, boy. You can't count on nothing. Don't ever get your hopes up high. You gotta realize that you ain't in control. Only thing you can control is your temper. Other than that, you ain't in control of shit. And your, I mean, as far as your body's concerned, because some can, plans can change at any given moment. One more time, I remember like, uh, I mean, it, I'm not used to this shit, but this is jail shit that jail dudes know. I don't know this shit. This shit was all new to me. Like, you could be going to court, and they handcuff you, and, they, and you sit in a cage. It's in a, in a cage on the bus, and they handcuff you with your hands behind your back, and you got to sit in that cage. And, man, that shit go for bridges and shit. I was like, what this fucking bus crash in that water? I gotta be like Houdini and swim with my hands behind my back. But the thing about going to court, back and forth to court, they gotta drop everybody off. And sometimes you might be the last person that get dropped off because I was in the Brooklyn house. And that bus, you be handcuffed with your hands behind your back on that bus for four and five hours, not moving. The bus be just sitting there for four and five hours, just sitting there with the engine running. In the dark, with your hands behind your back. Then when it leaves, the, then when it leaves the jail, then, well, in the morning they, they go, they leave on time. See, because I let you know it's bullshit. They leave on time because you got to be the court at a certain time. Then when you get on that bus, y'all got to go pick up everybody else. Then when y'all pick everybody up, y'all got to sit in the fucking tunnel at the jail at the courthouse. Then for like three out for like two hours. Then when you get off the bus. You gotta sit in in the fucking jail until until a judge hears your case. Then after the judge hit, and everybody be yelling and shit, and dudes be wanting to take the peanut butter back, they be wanting to take the cheese back. I ain't eat none of that shit. I ain't eat no cheese and no peanut butter. Fuck that. I mean, I ain't eat no cheese. Cheese put too much phlegm in your throat. That's why you be seeing people spitting all the time. But anyway, you sit in that fucking bus. Then, after you see the judge, you gotta go back and sit, sit back in the jail for like another hour. Then when you get on the bus, you gotta sit in the garage for about three hours before the bus leaves. Then when the bus leaves, you get back to your jail, your detention center where they're holding you, and you sit there for another three hours. It's an all day process. You leave, you leave that jail you leave jail to go to court about nine o'clock? No, hell no, they wake you up at six. They wake you up at six. They wake you up at six, you leave jail about eight o'clock, you start making your rounds at the other jails and picking up other inmates at other jails, like at Rikers and shit like that. Then you get, then when you get to jail, I'm, then when you get to court, you sit in court in the cell for about two hours, then you see the judge, then you go back and you sit in the jail for another two hours. Then they put you on a bus, and you sit on that bus for about four fucking hours, in the dark, handcuffed, with the engine running. You fall asleep with your hands behind your back. Then they start dropping the inmates back off at, the, at Rikers Island. And then, when we got to Brooklyn House, we sit at Brooklyn House for another three or four hours. It's an all day thing, boy, it's an all day thing just to go to court. That's why if you can afford bail, and you can get bail, it's best to get bail. And that way you go to court when they call you. But if you can't afford bail, if your bail too high, you can't afford that shit, or if they don't give you bail, you gotta sit there in that fuck, you gotta go through that shit. And that's, and I found out, they do that to you to break you. That way you take a, that way you take a plea deal. If you don't have bail, you gotta go through that shit every month. Every month you gotta go through that shit. 
for at least four months until the shit break you and then you just finally take the deal that they give you because you don't because when you go up north you don't have to go through that shit no more you don't have to go through that shit so you just take a plea deal you just cop out and be like fuck it you know they do that shit to break you i didn't realize it until i man it's traumatic <laughs>